Good morning, JK friends. Today is Monday, and we do not have a virtual lesson for today. Do you know why? Today is a professional development day for teachers. So guess what? I have to go to school today. Just like you have been turning on your iPad every morning and listening to lessons from Miss Jessica, guess what I have to do today? I have to turn on my computer and I have to li listen to lessons from the principals at our school. So today I'm gonna leave you with just a quick fun activity. Are you ready? You do need to gather some supplies for this. Okay, so we're making cereal box puzzles. You will need a box to do this. So you're gonna go look through the recycling bin. If you do not have a cereal box, you could use another kind of box. You could use rice. You could use crackers. You'll find a cardboard box with a picture on it. Now, you only need the front of the box, only the picture part. The rest of it, I put back in the recycling, okay? You only need the front. I'm gonna use this one today, and I'm gonna show you how to turn the front of a cereal box into a puzzle. Are you ready? So, gather a box of some kind. You need a ruler, you need scissors, and you need a pencil or a marker. Four things, box, ruler, scissors, marker. Go gather those supplies and meet me right back here. Okay, friends, so I have the front of my box. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna use my ruler and I'm gonna put it all the way at the top of my box. And then I'm gonna make a line underneath. Hold it still. You might need a brother, a sister, mommy or daddy to hold it still and draw a line underneath. Now, I'm gonna put the top of my ruler all the way up to that line. Hold that ruler still. And make a line underneath. Okay, I'm gonna speed up my video. Okay, now, using my scissors, I'm gonna cut on that straight black line. Okay, I'm gonna speed up my video. Okay friends, now all of our pieces are cut. Let's turn them over so we have the right side facing up. And Miss Jessica is gonna mix them up a little bit to give myself a little bit more of a challenge, okay? They're all mixed up. Now I'm ready to put them in order. You know what Miss Jessica does? I usually look for the top of my box. I remembered that the top of my box said large size. So I'm gonna put that up at the top. All right, I'm gonna speed up my video and you watch me finish my puzzle. It's just that easy. You can do this with any box that you have in your recycling. If you have a brother or sister at home, you all could both go to your own learning spaces, do your own box, and then trade your puzzles. That would be really fun too. Okay, let me talk to mommies and daddies really quick, and I will see you back here for learning time tomorrow. Okay, parents, so you can see by doing this activity that I did not cut the box into jigsaw pieces, jigsaw puzzle pieces like we traditionally think of a puzzle. I did them in straight lines for a few reasons. Number one, it's great cutting practice for them, right? And tracing a straight edge ruler, that's something we haven't done much of and is a great skill. Also, with um, JK Kindergarten students, um, sequencing is a really important skill. So the fact that they had to think of, okay, first this came, then next, they're looking at all of those clues in the writing, in the picture, to know what comes next. And that's a really important skill. So you may do this with lots of boxes. 
If this was too easy, you can make the puzzle pieces smaller. So maybe your box has 15 pieces instead of, you know, 10 to 12. If this was too hard, you can make your sections bigger and have your pieces be like eight to 10 pieces. So you just adjust it um, to the level of your kiddo. All right, hope you enjoyed this bonus and we will see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.